Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shed for Three Three with an FP VOD series against Shaman Pluck, which I'm actually playing right now. I should point out this is me playing live, and we're going to be starting on Sands of Time. Decided to do a best of three thing, kind of out of the blue, since I'm a little bored, honestly, at the moment. I'm going to go for Recon. I'm going to go for the Corner Star because I find actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go Corner Star. I'm going to go Econ Commander. That's just more suitable for this sort of start. And go for Cloaky Bot since that's what I'm used to. Oh. Okay. Sorry, apparently some of the default controls change, so apparent but I guess I don't have insert and delete for whatever reason. Come on. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing against Shaman Book. And then I will be doing as best I can. Shaman Pluck is a bit of a better player than I am, but they're also apparently rather tired, so maybe that will even things out. Actually, how much are solo wind generators? 0 to 1, 0 to 5. Okay, so I don't want to put wind generators on the lower ground. I want to put them on the higher ground. And the game has begun. So we're on Sands of Time, which I prefer. This map, seen a few times, very duny, very... very hilly map. Bot passable, totally bot passable. Let's go highly aggressive. So it's bot pathable, but it's very duny. Everything is, as you can see, plus 2.1. So it's fairly reasonably sized. And I'm just going to figure out where my opponent has started. Because as you could see, the start locations were entirely on the western or eastern sides of the map. All right. So I need to get... What the? Let's build one of the... Actually, no, 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 no. You're not... You're, you don't build anymore. You, you stop. I'll let the... You guys, eh, you guys all go in two. I'll put three over here. I don't know where Shaman Flick started. I'm kind of guessing they started closer to me than the corner. Yeah, you build that and then build that. Commander, no, BQ, C. No, that's a bad place to put it. This should go over here. Oh, crap. Well, I was half right. Okay, let's see if I can get rid of this. Oh, another pup. Shoot. All right, and... No, looks like I was actually right. They are over on the top side of the map. Well, I'm not going to be able to win with this. I think, if I recall correctly, it was Rockos I kind of need to use in this case. Keep the glaives up just in case. I can't remember exactly what I need to do. Actually, no. The glaives are a waste of time and money. Glaives get countered pretty directly by Rocco's, so it's not really that worth it to build. Now I can't remember. Oh wait, what am I thinking? I don't want to build Rocco's, I want to build Zeus. I mean, maybe I want to build Rocco's as well, but Zeus are going to be really important. So much so that I'm going to put the next of my builders up. No, there's a... Wait. I was like, darn it. Okay, there's a way of terraforming when you build. I can't seem to be able to make it work. I don't know what it is offhand. Anyway, that's... That's going to be useful. Okay, where's my opponent up here? My glaive died going up here, but I didn't see anything. So I'm in the dark. I don't know. I do not like being in the dark. My opponent did indeed start, her, start closer to me than I realize. And at least my Rockos are going to be fairly effective against this. No, you build. What are you doing? Wow, this area is pretty bad for trying to set up anything. Metal does not build well here. I can see that much. And now I need to use the Zeus, because the Zeus beats the Pyro. Seriously, where is Shaman Pluck's base? There's... There's the one power, one solar collector. That's about it. Oh, come on, you... I hate fighting Pyro with jump. This is a terrible map for the Cloaky Pyro matchup. I mean, a cloaky, jumpy matchup, I should say. Build more. Why do I have to forget this stuff? What is wrong with me? <sighs> oh, well, that's not a big loss. Oh, right, and this... Well, screw it. Build wind generators, then. I don't care if they're not that big. At least they get the overdrive spread around nicely. Ah, this is annoying. I have no idea where my opponent is. I just realized I ran out of radar as well. 
And finally I got these up against the pyros. Come on, hit the... Hit the bloody thing. Useless piece of crap. Oh, this game isn't going well. Come on, there we go. Okay, got rid of one of the pyros, but this game is not going well. Still have another two games to redeem myself, but we'll see how that goes. I'm not confident. I must say. Actually, you know what? No, you expand further. My hands are not working for some reason. Yeah, I haven't practiced this in a while, so forgive me if my play is not ideal. It's not optimal, especially in this particular situation here. Hold that too. Wait, the, why are the Zeus not in get in range? Man. Get where I need you to be. Now, I know Archem mentioned something about testing a new widget. I'm curious what the widget in question is. I'm actually kind of curious if this is helping. I don't know if it's an auto jump micro widget or what. What are you doing? Build that first. What are you waiting for? Okay, this is bad. I got past the point where Zeus are useful. Zeus stopped being useful pretty quickly in this matchup, but it becomes more of a warrior's game pretty quick. And then I gotta be careful because at some point my opponent is going to make a bunch of moderators, at which point I will need glaives. Knowing when that point happens though is gonna be tricky. I don't know what that point's gonna be. Also, where is my radar? I told you to build radar! A while ago, in fact. I keep feeling like my... Oh, what the... I also told you to continue building metal extractors around the back area. But apparently, stuff chooses to disobey for some bizarre reason. I, I held space when I hit that... You, when you hold space and hit a command, it puts it at the front of the queue, so it should be fine. I held space when I told my... When I told my commander to go set up further back, I held space to do so. There, there is an idle worker here. Perfect. Alright, so like I said, I do need pyro... I do need warriors here. Zeus... Basically beat Pyros one on one, but they do not beat Pyros for cost. What the heck? Yeah, that was weird. Alright, so at this point, I still actually have no idea where my opponent's base is. Nor do I have any idea if they're going to be switching over to a strategy that's a bit better against what I'm using. At some point, they're going to counter what I have. Like, at some point, they're going to build moderators. At some point, they're going to possibly build a bunch of puppies. Oh, that point has already happened. All right, so let's get more glaives up and put those at the front of the queue. Get the warriors to deal with that. At least the moderators are fairly well dealt with by the rockers. Like, at this point, it's basically going to be a matter of one or the other. Like either you get the Zeus or you get the Rocco. Oh, nice. Just the edge of the range, too. Well, edge of the Lotus range. Get out of there! No! Shoot. Okay, so moderators don't do me any favors. Okay, let's scour the map. I'm playing overly defensive. One of you guys build a caretaker. Another one of you guys help with the caretaker and then move on to building north. Commander should reclaim like mad. Why have I not been reclaiming? What is wrong with me? And clearly I'm out of practice. And then you guys, yeah, you scour north, basically. That's what you do. Actually, you three, I want you to go here first. And then you continue to scour north. You three, yeah, continue to take out the lotuses. That's good. That's exactly what I want. Take out Lotuses, take out Freakers, take out everything. I do. Crap. No, because that's, that's, that's why I want you to stay here. You help with this. And then more power. Because I can. And then you guys on one. I need you to deal with the Moderators. We've clearly dealt with the Pyros. need you to deal with the Moderators. Where are my Rockos? Ah, there are my Rockos. Ah, there's... Are those pyros? Yes, they are pyros. Crap. Ah. Shoot. I'm reclaiming. Why are you not... the heck? Minus 35 build power. That should be enough. Alright, where's the next... Okay, there's the next worker. I 
Ah, crap, there's too many defenders. I can't deal with this yet. Get into a line. Form into an orderly line. Actually, form into two lines. Then... Attack. No, what the heck? What? Ah, oh, whatever. Close enough. Anyway, oh! Darn it, no. Well, thankfully my commander has the beam laser upgrade, which is basically perfect for this situation. Alright, now the glaives can move in. Why are you not expanding further? Expand further. Warriors can't do much good against this. The defender, defenders, or sorry, glaives go down here. Warriors go up here. Rockos do something. I don't know. Yeah, warriors go up here. Glaives get rid of the moderator. I need that moderator dead. Then go around. And then move in. All right, move in. We'll find this eventually. Okay. Wow. Okay, apparently I won game one. Awesome! Apparently, that's not quite a GG yet. Oh wait, you guys can just go in here and take that out. What am I thinking? Go in, take that out. I don't need to worry about you. I do need to worry about you. The warriors can't take care of it. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, that didn't get, that didn't work? Weird. Okay, well anyway, I should build up, I should build up an airplane fact. Or she, gunship plant. That's the current, that's the new hotness, is the gunship plant. It's been actually fairly popular for the last little while. Ah, whoa, okay. Apparently I need more glaives than just what I have. Oh, yes, one has survived. For a very short period of time. Crap. Actually, come to think, well, maybe should probably work okay. But yeah, when I say it's the new hotness, I am being a little bit facetious. I, I mean, not that it's useless, it's just that, well, it's not necessarily as useful as one might think. I mean, everything's situational in this game. It's always good to remember that. Okay. Crap, this is bad. Get into a position where you're not easy to be hit. You're not too easy pickings for defenders. You go over here and take out that defender. You guys assist this thing as it builds rapiers. On repeat. And then... You help build up more metal extractors. You also build up metal extractors. You guys bum rush the stage. Or not. Maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah, those things are proving to be quite the pain. How many glaze am I producing? Produce more. Wait, why are you not... Oh, I see, that's why. Okay, you guys go on five... Warriors, you're not being useful right now. Fall back. Fall back. Actually, fall around. Try to find a flanking position. Build radar first. I need to know what's going on around here. And you... Well, I guess build more lotuses. And then reclaim a bit. I've been slightly overly defensive here. Actually, oh, wait, no. I want that for the overdrive, but I don't know how much... Actually, probably won't do me much good, come to think of it. Okay, now a good question is... I think it's actually worth it. Because I think if my opponent were to focus on Archangels, it would remove a lot of the time they have. Like, a lot of the build time they've been investing into other things. So if they start building Archangels, that's going to help me at the very least, because it'll distract them. Ah, nice. I can still flank him over the hills. Not the best solution, but it does work. That's what I want. Okay, so they will do just finding against disruptors. Or, not disruptors, against moderators. With those disruptor guns. And it would just so happen that my opponent has already built gunships. But they went for Banshees, which might have been a mistake. And by might have been, I mean... I'm fairly certain Rapiers hard counter Banshees, pretty much. Both between the slow and the fact that they're just more accurate against air units, or more useful against air units in general. So now move in for the kill. Since I have most of the map at this point. Run power between everything. 
So at this point, I'm expecting tridents to come up, and I don't know what to do against that. I guess I could build a few gremlins, but at this point, I might not even have to. I think the glaze can do just fine. Seriously though, where is that factory? Oh! Did Shaman... Are they... Have they lost? I can't tell. Like, I don't see a surrender notification or anything. Move back, move back. The commander's gonna burst... Or, the commander might burst soon. Kill the commander. You're gonna die in the process. Ah! I don't think I'd die in the process. Awesome! That's what exactly what I want to see. The converse is always something that worries me a bit. It's always good to be careful about factory and commander destructions because they kill things around them, and that's bad. It Did they resign, or what? I'm confused. Why is there no resignation notification at this point? Oh, because they haven't totally resigned? I really don't know. Incidentally, those workers do not actually deal damage. It's just slow. They put the slow effect on things, and that's about all they do. Actually, wait, no. The glaze can take care of that. Rapiers go around the north side. Explore the north side completely. And everything else. Well, it looks like I haven't lost yet. Alright, so that is game one goes to me! Out of this out of nowhere best of series. Wait, ready thing? The oh, the ready button, right, yeah, because there's... Right, because in other TA-based games, there's a button you that lets you say if you're ready or not. Alright, so moving on to game two, which I don't know what map's going to be on, but I guess it's... Pick a map! So, that's... That was game one. Game one goes to me. Yay! Game two on whatever map Shaman Book feels most comfortable with. And then if necessary, we go into game three. Because, I don't know, I just wanted to have something to play. Let's go. Because I like to do I like to do first person stuff on Wednesdays, but on Wednesdays, I don't know necessarily how many people I'm gonna find. So Shaman Pluck continues to try to pick their map, not sure what map they're going to go for at this point. Hmm. I wonder if I could get... Ravaged! Awesome! I love this map! Alright! Let's start her up. This is going to be interesting. They went for Jump Bots last time on Sands of Time, which... I still think it is a pretty good map for jump bots versus cloaky. The the hills provide some interesting interactions because they I mean on the one hand they mean that the cloaky bot has ways of kind of jumping across the hill and firing, but at the same time, jump bots literally jump over the hills. Which cloaky bots have to deal with by going up slowly. Ravaged, on the other hand, because of the cliffs, that provides a completely different dynamic. Now in this case, I'm probably gonna go for Econ as well. This is a very defensible map, as you can see. The hills really provide a defensible position. I'm gonna build that up. Although I don't know if I wanna go for do I wanna go for cloaky bot? I kinda wanna go for spiders, but at the same time I feel like that might be problematic. Hmm. Just thinking this map is really popular for air starts. If I go cloaky, I get gremlins. With spiders, I have to wait until tarantulas, and that takes that's four hundred metal. Okay, so yeah, one win. Game two is on Ravaged. I should write that down. Game two on Ravaged. Alright, so... I think I will go for... Ah! I was gonna say, gonna go for my comfort zone, I guess. Which is the Cloaky Butt Factory. The Cloaky Butt Factory works reasonably well on this map, but spiders work surprisingly well. You do have to cheese a bit. It's actually kind of tricky to play spiders over a longer period of time. I'm trying to think, would spiders work better? Mm. On the one hand, the Venoms fire much faster, so if I'm fighting another jump factory, then that's going to be a problem.
This is a tricky question. What do I want to do here? So in this case, time to think about this. So because the thing is, Cloakybot Factory has a fairly cheap anti-air unit that's also fairly powerful for its cost. Why is it ringing me? I'm already in the game. Wait, what's going on? Ah, darn it. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to exit the game. Wait, what the heck's going on? Is it seriously? Did we seriously get out of? We got out of sync. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Command console activated. Okay, not sure why that happened. Also, not sure why. What the heck is going on? Okay, so apparently Shaman Plug is having technical problems? I, I don't know what's happening. Okay, so we are going to be trying this again. So apparently, apparently Shaman Plug is having loading time problems, which I guess makes sense. I just assume we get desynced. I assume that they had loaded into their game just fine, and I had loaded into my game just fine, because they were still showing up as not loaded yet on my end. Because the red, red means not loaded. That's what I mean. So I'm going to stick with Cloakie because, like I said, it's basically, I think, the most reliable factory for anti-air, just in case an air star comes in. The only thing is, I mean, if it was Jump Bot, that's the only problem. If it's Jump Bot, then Spider is not a bad counter because of Venoms. It's not a great counter, though, because of Pyros. And ignore that second win. Yeah, this is still game two. I did win game one. But ignore that second win because that's that's just an error from the last game exiting because Shaman Pluck didn't quite well they technically left so yeah so this is game two okay Shaman Pluck is loaded in good and they have plenty of time to place everything it should be fine I don't know what they're gonna go for. I seriously think they're going to go for air, which is why I want to go for Cloakie, because I know Shaman Pluck well enough that they're going to probably go for cheese. In fact, I should probably build a couple defenders in anticipation of a Blastwing rush, now that I think about it. That's a thing. Like, Shaman Pluck is kind of a cheesy player. They really like doing crazy cheesy things, and I think that that's something they're going to do here. So, Gremlin... And start and worker, then three glaives. Then build a couple. Actually, no. Build this defender here, and then this one here. All right. And then build power. So gremlin, go in here to scout. Got to play very close attention to this thing. Six. There we go. So you, I want you to go here and expand quick. I expect, actually, yeah, I expect that will be necessary. Actually, no, you might, you should do the power first while I'm in the middle here. Even though it occurs to me that that was actually kind of an inefficient way of doing things. Right, glaze on, get one. Oh, shoot, light vehicles? I did not expect that. Well, now that they don't have a scout in their base. All right, light vehicles, that means I should probably play a bit more defensively. And then... It also means that these defenders are unnecessary. Stop, stop, stop. Build more stuff. Now if I... Re I think... I think warriors are going to be a good choice. 
Build another worker first, but I think warriors will be a good choice. Of course, what I can do, which is always kind of tricky, is to... There we go. Come on, get up the hill. Up the hill. Up the hill. Ah, I didn't fall for it. One, and then go up the hill. Did not go up the hill. Although, unfortunately, I am now in a bad position. But I could terraform the map, because they are going light vehicles. And the last time I did that, I got terraformed out like mad. That's an option. All right, so you know what? I'm going to leave you... Ah! You're supposed to trick it. All right, so warriors from here on out. I realize it's not the fastest thing to do, but it's not a bad idea either. All right, so because of the fact that we're playing against vehicles, I'm going to go up this ramp. They're probably not going to follow me up there. Take that expansion first. Oh, come on. Ah, got one. Uh, one for one, not a bad trade. One for one in my territory. Okay, maybe you should just build power. Screw it. Actually, build a caretaker. This worker builds power. And now the warrior is there. My rector is doing fine, or my conjurer rather is doing fine. Warrior takes care of these guys without issue. Ah, there's the slashers. I was waiting for those. Sort of. Oh, nice interference running. That's clever. It's a good job running interference there. Okay, so it looks like I will actually need more glaives. Get back, move back, move back, move back. Alright, you expand. You... Move over here to expand. No, shoot. You counter these things. What are you doing? Get back. You repair. Oh, crap. There's a leveler. You go around the other side. You build up. Build that up. Okay. You go around the back. This is going to involve a lot of flanking maneuvers, I can tell that much. Alright. So not much is coming up that way, which is what I expect. Yep. Go down. Flank maneuvers are pretty much all I got here, so that's what's going to have to happen. Seems to work, though. Seems to do the trick. Ah! Because the thing with flank maneuvers is that they can't really escape. That's why I'm doing them, because it's going to be effective that way. Ah, come on. So my only hope is to basically play Cloaky as a sneaky factory, which, well, it is, so that's a slight advantage that way. Cloaky bots are a sneaky factory. That leveler mix is pretty annoying, gotta say. I mean, now they've gotten them on the defensive a bit. It's forcing retreat. There we go, this is exactly what I want. This is exactly the position I want. Get out of here. All right, and then you... All right, now we can expand a bit further. You expand down there. Two, three. Where's my glaive? Ah, my glaive's there, about to die. All right, let's be sneaky here. Actually, super sneaky, go around the back, as I've been doing this entire game. Because that's all that can really work in this situation. Okay, so you guys are on five. The rest of you on one go in the normal way. Attack. You can get rid of the leveler, no problem. And then these guys have nowhere to move back to. Anything coming up here? No, nothing coming up there. Nothing coming up here. 
Oops, no, five. One, stay there. Actually, one go forward. Back these guys around the side. Two go around the back. One, take that out. Three, move forward. And two, continue to go forward like so. Building an airplane plant. Shoot. Now you go forward. You just go simply forward. And where are my conjurers when I need them to reclaim this field? Okay. Oh. My sneaky mission. Sneaky mission shall not fail just because I got a bit careless. Ah, crap. Build me power. Oh. Sheesh, that's not good. Okay, I'm feeding metal here. Sneaky's good, but I don't want to be feeding metal. It's important. I want to be gaining metal for myself. Not feeding it to my opponent. Although, unfortunately, I am not actually really using the metal I have. Crap. Build that now. Now. Shoot. Is this thing upgraded? The answer is no. Although, I don't need to worry. That's not going to kill me. Round two dive might, but that won't. Crap, this actually might not have been the best idea to do an air switch now that I think about it. Go for it. Alright, we're getting power back. Wind is working in our favor, and- Oh, I have two geoplants, that's the other reason. That would help. Just got a bunch of geoplants. Crap, it's turning around. This is bad. Why do I not have a lot of glaives coming out? Alright, there we go. Now I should get a lot of glaives coming out. That should mean death for everything below me. That should mean death to everything else below me. That didn't do its mission, right? That didn't do its mission, what the hell? Didn't drop its... Oh, did it? Why do I not see the icon? There's an icon there that shows up when something's dropped its bomb. I do not see that icon. What is going on? See, what am I thinking? Feed that to this. Ah, crap, it begins. Ah, my commander goes down. I think game two is going to go to my opponent. Going to go to Shaman Book. I don't see my way out of this. I thought I had this game. I'm careless. All right. One of them will be a decoy. Oh, what? Who's bombing that one, then? Oh, the one under production. Crap, that's not good. No, build more cloakies. What's wrong with you? I don't need that many planes. Well, at least they didn't get through that. How close is this being done? 20 seconds. Things are hard to control. He's dying every time. I can't tell. Oh, what are you doing down there? Stupid pathfinding. 
totally screwed me over. It's terrible. Oh, they are dying. Oh, they went for crashers. Crap. Well then, stop producing anything here. No point. Complete waste of resources. Take these guys out using glaives. Take them all out. Oh, stupid levelers. Ah, shoot. Just as I got this built up, too. Ah, will that be... No, it's gonna be death. That area is just be abandoned. I don't know any way out of this. Maybe a few clever ticks. Something, I don't know. I feel almost like it just... I just need to burst back with numbers. The thing is, I can rely on choke points in this map. I haven't actually been doing so, but I can. <sighs> My problem, of course, is that I'm trading in a speed advantage. On the other hand, I can easily take this out. Crap, alright. Of course, you were dependent on wind at this point, having lost most of my other stuff. Come on, kill those things. out of here. I'm gonna try being sneaky again, I think. If you rebuild the the mexes themselves, while everything else does the reclaim. My opponent isn't taking the ramps a lot. That's the one thing I'm noticing that I'm taking advantage of as a weakness of the factor. Did it did Archimon not rebuild here? What? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, shit. Okay. Wait, you, I don't need you on that. Alright, let's take that out. Now, go in. Go in, die valiantly. Well, hopefully not die, but there are a lot of defenders. Get rid of everything! Get rid of everything that can stop you! Or avoid it outright. <sighs> everything else in the minimap. Just checking the minimap, but there's... There's not like anything else is really there that's gonna cause a problem. Take out all the power! Ah, following Sackdot's advice. Hopefully that'll help. Sackdot's advice being, when you hit, hit the main base, go for the power infrastructure. And that's why I went that way to get rid of the crashers. And then that way my air force is going to be useful again. It's not disarmed for a long. Oh well, just go. Wait, no, you rebuild this. You bring back our glorious second hidden metal extractor set. Oh, C E. That's what I want you to do. 
And actually another VQ here and another radar. Come on, let's take this back. Let's bring it home. I think I've got this. I I don't know. Shaman Block might have done something to mess this up, but I think I have it. Actually, that's one thing I'm noticing. It might be easier to split out my glaives sooner rather than later. What are you waiting for? Oh, you you're literally waiting. You're waiting for me to tell me not to wait anymore. All right. I think I've got this, but we'll see. I know my opponent went for air. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Actually, wait. I know my opponent went for air. Why did I not go for anti-air? That seems silly. Yeah, move in, move in. Glaives, take the blow. Shoot. Take the blow. Go in, take the blow, take the blow. Is there anything else coming in? No. The glaives take the blow and the warriors have a bit more of a chance of getting in. The warriors are the things that really need to get in. The glaives are merely a warrior delivery system. That is their job. That is their life. And that is how they die. And the warriors, on the other hand, are meant to just kill everything else, which they're not doing. Now, you're delivered there for a reason. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Nope, fall back, fall back, as a group, as a group. Let's do this together. All right, so, put you on five. Coming from this side, oh! And Shaman Pluck throws in the towel! Hooray! That's two wins! So that was the f best of three. Me versus Shaman Pluck. I actually have been kind of surprised. Okay, well, good games. So, thank you Shaman Pluck for those games. Thank you all for watching. And that is going to be it for me tonight. So, I don't know. I mean, Shaman Pluck is probably not playing at their best. So, there's that. But yeah, Light Vehicles Unravaged is interesting. I was actually really scared for a while there. From the start, I did not expect Light Vehicles. As I mentioned, cloaky or spiders, that's what I expected, not Light Vehicles. But anyway, that is going to be it, so thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good night.